Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the new features of Camtasia 2018. All right, so Camtasia just released a new version, a new updated version of Camtasia, and they're calling it Camtasia 2018. Now, I find it really interesting that they're releasing the latest version of Camtasia and they're calling it, you know, version 2018 when it's like June, almost July, and like most of the year is over. So that makes me think that they're going to release a 2019 version. Who knows? So I'm here in the new Camtasia. I'm still going to call it Camtasia 9 because it's still relatively similar. There's just new features. So right off the bat, uh, things that I can see that are visibly different is the sizing and spacing of everything. So they made this part smaller right when you like log in and open the software and they made more sort of visual space on the tracks. Before it was like a lot smaller and you would only see three tracks but right now you can see like of three and a bit or four and a bit also, you can see the frames per second, so it's like set at 30 right now. And while I've been editing, I've, you know, when I have different clips and footage, I've, I've seen this change. Also, they have the library button over here. It's integrated now and they have like a picture of the library books. And that's visually, right off the bat, what I can see that's different, but we'll go into the features. So library, the library's a little bit different and you can set it at different tabs before it was just all things together. I've already inputted my intro and my outro and that already put it in a default part of the library. So if you go to Camtasia 2018, I guess this is where they have some new assets um, and they have them in different folders. So Right now they've got icons, intros, lower thirds, motion backgrounds, music tracks, outros. So I'll just quickly go into them and let's just see if they're a little bit different. Um, these kind of seem similar. They probably added like some, a bunch of different ones. I didn't really use these icons too much so I don't know if these are all brand new, but it's cool that they have a lot of stuff. I think this might be different. I don't remember seeing this type of stuff. This might be different. Let's see, social media. I don't remember seeing this kind of stuff. Maybe this is new. Let's close up the icons and let's head over to intros. So I like that they have a little picture here now so you can kind of see a little bit of what's going on. And I think they definitely did add new intros. So let me let me just choose one here. Let's choose a simple bright title three. I'm gonna double click on it. Cool. Now let me drag it onto the timeline and just see if it looks any different. So I've dragged it on here and then you can change your title. They've made it more defined as to editing the actual intro part before you had to like click on it and you didn't really know what you were changing. So if you click on here and you change the font, you can change the font here and then you can change the properties of that font here, sizes, different kinds of fonts. So let's move on to the next tab over here. So these intros seem to be new. I think they said something about being able to change the colors of them. I'll have to do another separate video on that when I figure it out and how to do that kind of stuff. So I just clicked on this purple color here and I just changed it just to see what it would look like. So you can change the color of that rectangle shape that I was talking about. Alright, so let's go through and see if they have any more new stuff. That seems kind of new. That seems kind of 90s themed. Motion backgrounds. I think they added some new ones to here as well. 
This one's new, Classroom Zoom. That wasn't there before. So they've added some free new uh, assets, which is cool. I don't really use them, to be honest, but I mean, it would be, it's cool if you, if you do need them, they're free. This is kind of cool. So these are like animated backgrounds. Cool, okay, so that's the assets library. They've added some new stuff, which is cool. So they did mention that, you know, they made rendering a little bit faster. I have to be honest, I edited two videos the same way that I always edit videos with adding, you know, the all the intros, outros, you know, all the clipping, all pictures, color correction, you know, did everything exactly the same. In my personal experience, I did not notice that the rendering speed was faster. I'm not sure if I have to change certain settings or do something differently, but as of now, while doing the exact same edits that I always do, I didn't see that it was rendering any faster. Well, another new thing is they have uh, a couple new behaviors. They have this explode one, um, which I find interesting that they call it explode when it kind of looks like everything is coming together. But let me just add that on here and see if it does anything. Let's see. Didn't really do anything to this intro. I'd probably have to add it to some media. But that's kind of what it looks like if you hover the mouse over it. And fly in. I don't remember fly in. Everything else seems to be the same. So we'll have to play around with creating the themes and then I'll show you guys probably in another tutorial how to do that, how to set that up to make things easier when you're adding like intros and outros. In my opinion, the upgrades are cool. It's always cool to have more free assets and to have more features. So I'll let you guys know if anything else comes up while I'm editing if I find out anything else that is new. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.